Hey Simon, it's Kevin. Um, well, I just watched several of your videos, so uh, just for others' benefit, um, I thought I'd point out that I may be responding to some things that appear in other videos. Um, inspiring stuff. Uh, I'm glad you're back and talking about this stuff. It's nice so often we see this discussion from one of the two extremes either the atheists uh, confronting the masses who are religious or the religious trying to well anyways so it's it's refreshing to see somebody who's undecided leading the discussion and I think that puts you in a good position to be open to all sides to, yeah, at least it sets you up as a good mediator. Now, some thoughts that you inspired, um, well, the first thing I wanted to go into is that I do not put all my faith in science. There is a strong limitation of science, which is its own founding principle that we will only accept scientifically that which can be tested and proven. And that can only be done through our senses. We know we can distrust our senses. There are illusions that occur with all of them. Um, plenty of optical illusions people have run across, I'm sure. Audio illusions can occur as well. In fact, two sound waves um, of opposing wavelengths. Opposing, the wavelength is out of sync and opposite. Um, if you take a, two oscilloscopes and set them to the same wavelength but put them out of sync, you won't hear anything. Um, and of course, there's illusions with the other senses too. Touch, for example, if you put one whole hand on something hot and one hand on something cold and then put them both on the same object, the hand moving from cold will feel warm and the hand moving from warmth will feel cold. Uh, this is because we don't really feel temperature. We feel a loss or gain of heat. For the same reason, if you put one hand on metal and one hand on wood, they feel different temperatures even though they're both the temperature of the room. And that's because the metal simply pulls heat from your hand faster than the other. Now, of course, science um, tries to set up methods that get around the senses. But the fact is, it by definition limits itself to the physical. And it seems to me almost an act of ego just to claim that we know that's all that there is. It's all we can prove there is, certainly, but is, is that something we really want to put faith in, that there cannot be anything that exists outside of it? Um, you mentioned God of the Gaps, and your example was Shades of Blue, and that if we can find all shades but one of blue in a spectrum, then we can surmise uh, that that last shade of blue exists. I, I like that analogy, uh, but my question was, can you use that to learn that green exists? Or even beyond that, if you have a full color spectrum, uh, like you would commonly see in a high school art class, or like they'd make you create in a high school art class, does that still allow you to conceive of gray? 
if that's all you know. Or pastels, which use light in a different way. Um, and what I'm trying to get at here, again, is if you're speaking of just shades of blue, yes, you can surmise that something that's missing from that spectrum should be there, but that doesn't mean that you've surmised all of the possible things that could exist outside of that spectrum. Um, and I think the same could be applied for God. What else did I want to say? Science and you pointed out with science how a lot of things they're a lot of the frontiers they're pushing now seem non-scientific singularity is one example I actually I don't know if you've heard of the big crunch theory but I like it quite a bit the only problem is you still have to comprehend or accept infinity but the thought is this that a singularity is an impossibility and the biggest problem for me with it is that if I exist if, if I think that the universe started with a big bang from a singularity I can't wrap my head around what would change that singularity from being a single point into infinite expansion what starts that explosion and the only thing that my head can even start to accept is this concept of the big crunch, which is, I think scientists now believe that the universe will keep expanding forever until we achieve a diffusion so great that basically everything freezes because it's all too far apart from each other, uh, too cold, if you will. Um, for anything to continue but that's based on some strange math and I don't know how truthful you can imagine it since uh, you know it's it's based on estimates like like how they estimate how probable it is that there's other life out there it's a great equation but it's based on a lot of assumptions um, So, the big crunch is the theory that instead of expanding forever, the universe will get to some point where gravity takes over. Uh, gravity overcomes the rate of expansion. Things slow down and begin falling in on each other. And this makes sense to me because, you know, I imagine our planets falling back into our sun and the same thing occurring. Uh, even us, uh, as we live, we push ourselves off of the planet, and, then, and when we die, we return to it. I mean, we can't help fall back down. In fact, trees, trees decompose a lot quicker on the ground than they do while standing, even if they are dead. Um, so the big crunch would fall in on itself. If all of the universe was moving in to a black hole like object at the center um, to me it's conceivable for it to all that infinite mass to pull everything in to a point and for their ex uh, singularity not really existing or if it does exist um, you know everything falls in on itself and right when a singularity would occur, it explodes. Now, either that singularity is there in existence and time doesn't exist for that moment and then it restarts, or um, it never has a chance to exist because just before it would, a new explosion occurred. Um, this is my concept for the cycles of the universe uh, and most of what we see, even through science, is cyclical. So that makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, there was more I was going to get to, but I see I'm pretty much out of time. So perhaps I'll collect my thoughts and make another video. Or perhaps this will suffice for now. Adios.